In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create markups and save them within Autodesk Vault. So if you've got Vault Professional 2023, you're able to create markups um, and actually save these markups uh, attached to a visualization file. So here you can see I've got the visualization file for um, 1301-0331. And what I want to do is I want to go and create a markup. So at the bottom, you'll see that I've got my markup command and there's a little zero next to it, which tells me that no markups have been saved with this visualization file. So I select that markup, and as you can see, I can do freehand, I can do text, I can do a call out, a cloud, rectangle, uh, arrow, and then change the line style as well, and then full style. So for instance, where would I go over here? Let me just drag this away, put this over here. So markup, uh, let's go collapse this, and then I can say, let's do a, cloud okay and that's the cloud that i want i can go and change the color i can also do a full color and i can delete it as well let's go do that again no full color no full and then let's go make it red Okay, and then uh, let's go do a call out. Okay, so either cloud call out or just a call out. Okay, this needs to be six millimeters. Okay, once that's done, uh, we can then go and save this. So there's two different options of saving. So save as data, um, that will be saved within the vault, or as a screenshot, and then I'll be able to download as a PNG um, and save on my desktop. So I'm gonna say save as data, you give it a name, um, change thickness to six millimeters, and okay. Once that's done, I'm gonna click on done, continue. And what you'll notice now that Below your markup, you've got there the number one, which means that there's one saved markup, and there it is over there. So I'm going to go create a new one. So create new. Okay, let's go and create a cloud call-up markup. So there we go. Put that over there. Change um, whole size to 20 millimeters. Okay, save as data, change all size to 20. Okay, and save that. And you'll see that now I've got the two over there. And go done. So, if I go over here, select that, you'll see there, change whole size to 20 millimeters, select that, you'll see there is a, this needs to be six millimeters. Okay. If I want to change it, rename it, and let's see where else this also is saved. So now, um, if you don't know with Valk Professional, you've got the thin client as well. And with the thin client, uh, you can, and anyone can access the vault as long as they've got a username and password. They can access the vault through the thin client, which is read-only. But what happens with these um, with these uh, markups over here? So I'm going to go to my Internet Explorer, and let's go look for that. Uh, let's go search. I think it was 1301. Uh, 1301-0301. This one over here. No, it's not that. Let's just go check quickly. It's 1301-0331. Okay, so there we go. Select it. That's the part. If I go to my view, it will give me a view of this, as well as at the bottom there, you'll notice there's markup and there's two next to it. So if I click on that, there's my markups. So you'll see there, 
I've got my two markups over here. I can create a markup while I am in my, uh, my thin client, <clears throat> okay. but it will not allow me to save the, mark the markup as data. So it's going to go put an arrow over here. Okay. You see you've only got save snapshot. So you're only able to save a snapshot of this and then um, you know, sort of download it to your desktop and then email it to whoever needs to see it. You aren't able to save it as data inside the vault. For that, you'll need the vault thick client, which you can get either as vault office or the normal vault professional. And that's how you create marks ups in the new Autodesk vault 2023. And I'm sure it will just get better and better as we continue our journey to 2024 and beyond. Thanks very much for watching.